My fault. Whack now, whack now. Don't make that the only episode of Black Love Wins, Black Love Conquers. No Black Love Wins. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. God first, but the fam go after. They feel it over love me and laughter. Sunday morning, listening to the pastor. Mama gave look like you better not act up. When the fam slide through, better back up. They one, real one. That's what. Who see when you come around here? One God, one fam, no fear. Shout out to the fam, you don't get to choose. God in the middle, so I cannot lose. Blood is blood, sleep, just make do. Can't nobody ever touch me in the crew. Party over hey, here, man, hey, we hey, have the hey, juice. Hey. Family don't die, oh me, oh my. Sometimes sick of them, glad they own mine. Ragging them, pray who's the greatest of all time. Ragging them, liar, I'll go where it's at. Round these parts, don't nobody walk alone. Play your part, ain't nobody on their own. Family and fair, gotta put down the phone. Things give a come with a mac and cheese. Sis cooked up, got me feeding the please. Mama like, boy, you better make A's and B's. Them grades, no C's, dad say me please. Chad not your line, just crazy cool. Radio turn with the old school. They ask me to pray over the food. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the first episode of DMV FFOS. The stands for? First family of style. You want to say DMV first? Is that what it's not Dang, you didn't know? Ma'am, we've been here for a while now. <laughs> anyway, you all, thank you for tuning in to the DMV First Family of Style. As you know, I am Tawanda, the mother. I'm Mike, and I ain't really this short, for real. Yes, he is. <laughs> it's the chair that got me in. Okay. Don't blame it on the chair. Who are you, young lady? favorite, Who's favorite? <laughs> <laughs> Year. This is the one and only Project MC. Oh, boy, that's just my John today. Ain't no Project nah, MC. Nah. Project. <laughs> Project MC at all times. You know what I mean? Uh, I named you my John. I named you Project. <laughs> <laughs> no, so. I named him my John. Yeah, because his name should have been Trey Young. Trey, no, Trey Young. Uh, Tadanya, Tone, Trey Young. Mike one. Yeah. It's not too many teeth. Anyway, tea. why are we going to get into this right now on our first episode? This is our, this is our family. This is how we do it. Your name should have been Trey Young. No, nah, it was I wouldn't have made fun of him. <laughs> <laughs> why? I told him. He wouldn't have liked it. Anyway, welcome to our first episode. On this show, you'll get an insight of who we are. We're going to have fun. We're going to talk real talk, the ups and downs in this family. If you know us, you know that we're always, always together when we're out. Very rarely do you see us not together, um, especially us three, because sometimes she get in her mood and she don't want to hang out with us. But usually you'll see us three together, um, but you always see a lot of pictures of all of us because we support each other no matter what we doing, if he have a show, if she got something going on. The oldest one is not here, as usual, she's supposed to have been here, Nick, but... she at work. Oh, she at work today? Yeah, she had to work today. Okay. Well, she's at work today, so she told <laughs> us. Mm. Okay, but she wasn't at work when she went to the ba the football game this morning. No, nah, she was at the football game. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have the grandkids here next time. Oh, week. yeah. Oh, I'm not coming here. So, how are you all doing today? Blessing, highly favored. Are you with the church today? I don't go to church. No, I'm just asking, did you go to church? No, I didn't go to church. Why not? <laughs> Why you stop going to church? Oh, that's the first topic? Ooh. 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 I'm a sinner. Ooh. No, I ain't going to. Don't you eat that. <laughs> off the floor. I'm talking about this five minute rule. Five minutes? We just walk past this rug. That ain't no five minute rule. Um, rule. That's just nasty. It's but anyway. Five seconds. Five seconds, whatever. Um, so, you want to talk about church or you want me to skip past that? You know why I talk about church? No, I don't know. That's why I'm asking. When I was younger, me, I know. We used to be talking about church this. I can't hear you. Can you hear me now? When we was younger, you come in the room, y'all go to church. Y'all don't have to. We don't want to. Okay, we don't want to. What a God will feel like bless you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my 
Lord, did, did I really do that? Yeah, we used to hate hearing pastors go to church. Why? Because it's too early. It's just so long. Yeah. Don't say born. No, I'm not not born, but just born long. <laughs> <laughs> then you go to two services too. Yeah. Then we be hungry. Why do you always have to add yourself in it? Like I was just having this conversation with her. But I, no, no, no. I, I, uh, oh, look at us. But look, I did. I do ask you if, if you're going to church because most Saturday nights we're out late because you have a show or something. So I do ask you. You do. He don't. What do you say? Chad, get up. Going to the time to church. <laughs> That's why when I was young, there was no option. If you was in the house and mom and pop was going to church, you was going to church. No options. I understand that, but I also believe in allowing the kids to express themselves. Yeah, when you get old and out out the house, then you can stop going. You express yourself when you pay your own rent for your own place. Ooh! Excuse that's, me. That's when you express yourself. But not allowing a child to express himself can hinder the relationship between the child and the parent. I feel like I, need I don't think he's saying. Place. I think he's saying when you were young, and if we go into church, everybody in the house go to church. But it was forced, though. You know, it wasn't forced. It wasn't forced. Yeah, I, it wasn't told to go. But look at you now. Stop going. Look at you. Yeah, I, I mean, huh? I'm gonna get back in there, but I don't. But I mean, that doesn't stop me from. Right. Oh, no, 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 I'm not. Every day. I talk to God, but that, that's all this honestly, having that relationship yeah, with God. That's really the only like thing it. that matters. You know, to be honest, it's not that I'm getting away from church. Um, God has been talking to me. And today, I even told you in church that that was confirmation. I think I want to go away from the traditional church. I want to do a Kanye. Like, really, real talk. I think church, no, I said do a Kanye. I think church has become so much of a business that you can go in church, you can go to church, and you have plans on going somewhere after. It could be shopping, it could be um, taking the family out to dinner. Joe, you come out of church broke. <laughs> and it's not so much as just tithes and offering, it's just so many other little things. And then the fact, the more you give, to me in certain churches the more you give the more your name become clout where you can almost do what you want I just want a place like I had posted not long ago on Facebook where I just want a place where we can come worship together we can praise God we can read the Bible we can learn about the Bible it ain't no you no big t yeah I want just a, a, a small go ahead you about to say something yeah, that's rude. <laughs> what do you think about that? Where we are, where we can, we giving out, we giving God what's due Him, the ten percent, um, whether we're renting a space or or whatever, we're paying our tithes, and if we're not renting a space, that ten percent can eat, go towards some some type of um, organization, you know? Yeah, something like that. But I think I'm personally, I'm getting away from the traditional church. I love, you know, going to church. I love hearing the choirs, but I'm finding out, you know, certain things that certain pastors say, and I'm like, that's not in the Bible. Even today I had a problem, and I know some of you all probably watching. I had a problem with what was said from a pastor today in church. And then when the lady said that scripture, I, that's not scripture, no, that's not in the Bible. So that's what I, where I'm headed. And today it's like I got my confirmation, but I'm waiting on God. I just want to praise and worship God and fellowship with others. So, okay, well, can I ask you this? You um, can ask me anything you want after okay. 20 years. You said you don't, um, after your tithes, that should be it, right? You shouldn't pay anything Tithes else. and offerings. You can give, yeah, but you I really think. I did. No, you didn't. Then I said, sir. No. You can rewind it back later. Yeah. Oh, you said it was tired. <laughs> I know I said tired. Okay. Oh, go ahead. Okay, but what if you had a church? I didn't say I wanted a church. What if there was a church and everybody wasn't tithing and everybody wasn't offering? Answer me this. How are the lights supposed to stay on? How is the air supposed to stay on? How is the water supposed to keep running? Okay. How is y'all Wi-Fi supposed to stay on? Not mine. But listen to what I'm saying. 
I think a Ain't real that true, stuff free. No, no, no. It's not free. Uh, but I think if if a church is doing right by the word of God, and if a church has people that's the church listen, is let the me people. talk. Right. If a church has people that, that's there and they're tied in, that's if. And, no, no, no. The that's majority, if. No, no, no. I think when that's it comes if. to all the extra stuff, what's that's, extra stuff you keep talking about? I think when a church has the they're passing the offering plate more than six times in one service. If that ain't excessive, then you tell me what it is. I don't think that I should have to give to this, this give to this, give to the first lady's birthday, give to the first lady's son birthday, give, give to the, the the people that's going to to school, give to the the first lady family. Like it's just so much, and I'm saying that because church is a turn. Church is now ran like a bit instead of church. Church should be a place where, yeah, let me come and play my tithes and offer. And for real talk, it's like a person that has one job. And if you if you live within your means, that one job, if you're making good money, should be enough. But when you have a pastor, and I'm not putting it on anybody, any particular pastor, but if you have a pastor that has four five hundred dollar shoes and bragging about certain things then don't ask me that's giving my ties and i give one offer don't ask me to okay wait well, pastor got a birthday coming up pastor got this pastor that now, and i understand the bible i know you know a prophet's reward and all that but what i'm saying is a lot of churches especially in the black community they're taking from the poor to get themselves rich real talk you got a lot of churches that have Section 8 and, you know, low-income people in their churches, and they constantly keep doing this, doing this, doing this. So, so people get to the point where I'd rather stay home because I need this money doing for... Doing what, doing what, doing what? They're constantly asking for something. There's, there's a constant, I ain't going to say dry bagging, church... A lot of churches are constantly asking for something beyond the tithes and offering. Do you all agree? Have you ever thought that, okay, big congregation, only one-third of them is tithing. One-third of them tithing won't keep the water running. But why is it? Won't keep the air on. Won't keep the lights on. So what is he supposed to do? I didn't, why would you say he? It's not what is he it. or she supposed to do to keep the church doors open? This is my opinion. Have I just a, think that... Outside church under a well, tent? That's fine, too. I, it, to me, it just amazes and me. And then they complain about the heat. No, no, ain't oh, no complaining. It's too hot. To oh, me, it's, it's too cold. To me, it's it seems like it's the snow. smaller the church is... We went to a church recently, and it was, what, maybe 30 people in there? Maybe 30? M maybe 30. And they were able to bless you real good. They did one offering, and they had, what, maybe like 50 bags of book bags and things to give to the kids who was only about, what, about six of them in there? Okay, so my, I think that's sometimes true. it seems like the smaller the church is, the the less they ask the bigger the church is the more they keep passing the plate that's just my I, opinion i think, I think oh and <laughs> it was also another small church that you and i went to and the pastor asked for an offering then mm -hmm. he came back and asked for another offering mm -hmm. a small church um just like you said yeah, he was, to me, in my opinion, what I got from that, when he asked that, then he announced him and his wife about to go on a trip. I really assumed that that second offer was for his Spit. church. I ain't spent my fault. Yeah. But I don't know. I just think I'm, I'm going away with the traditional churches. What do you, what do you all think? I agree with everything that you said. Are you even paying attention? Somebody's asking if I'm a man. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't, get, don't worry about, no. I definitely agree with you. The smaller the church, the better um, the community in the church is, and the less that you have to. Whatever she said. What's your opinion, son? I think that both sides um, hold some weight. I think you do have smaller churches that don't ask for a lot of money, 
And then again, one, when it's a smaller church, it's not that much you have to worry about. What you mean? They still got electric, gas, and they water, do, and air conditioning. Like, it's not the change. But their bill is not as high as right. a building that's so big. a big yeah. church. That's why I also understand what you were saying, because the bigger the church, the, the, yeah. the more it costs to keep it running. Yeah. You, it you're right. I'm just saying, I'm leaning towards. I think towards some, some try to, a lot of churches try to rob pretty much the congregation of all their money. Do they you do have greedy pastors who have super ultra mega churches and then the way the way you're keeping up yourself your congregation should reflect it. Uh-huh. so if you coming in all these fine suits and great cars and whatnot but your congregation section 80 and their income is section who? <laughs> you can tell you ain't been around that section who oh. <laughs> <laughs> i'm thinking of kendrick lamar too <laughs> Shout out K Dot. But yeah, their their congregation is pretty much poor by society means. It shouldn't be like that. Your congregation should reflect you and vice versa. So I do think things both sides are weak. Okay. Well, okay. I also We're not gonna feel, stay on this topic no, no, because no, no, you're gonna no, keep no, your opinion. Well I also <laughs> I know, feel right? once you get your tithe and offering to the church, that's where your thought ends. Right. See what I'm saying? If the pastor does anything wrong with the money, is on him. No, no, no. I'm, I didn't say nothing about. I'm saying give your tithes and offering. I don't have a problem with giving with tithes and offering. No, no, no. But you mentioned about the fly shoes and the fly I clothes. I said and after the tithes and offering, it should stop. Then when all these other. But but what if the tithes and offering ain't enough to cover all the bills in the church? Then this, what? Then they need to check that um, treasure. <laughs> <laughs> no, what what if the congregation ain't given like you may think they are? Why are we saying on this? My point in uh, bringing it up, because I'm tired of him saying ain't. My uh, point of him bringing it, of me bringing it up is that I think I'm going away from the traditional church. I just want to come together and worship God in purity. I where think no, everybody I, Where is? But so you need, you there's a need. Yeah, right. There's always going to be a need. There's a need for you to keep eating the popcorns while right there. There's us. It was us. Um, so let's, we're going to change the top of the little yeah. bit because that's what we do. Because we're not going to see eye to eye no matter what. Because yes, no, we ain't going to see. You know, he'll be still going and I'll be starting my thing. And, you know, a lot of, you know, what we, what we're noticing in churches that husband and wives don't come to church together no more. You even you always see the wife, you never really see the husband. So, you know, that might have to be a part that they see the husband and never see the wife anymore. So who knows? Um I talk about something else. There you go, trying to regulate. So what's on your mind today, Project MC? Oh, you see me. I know. Go ahead. We're coming to you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes. Would you speak? I'm speaking now. <laughs> um, Our family. I guess uh, you don't want me to get to a You get in whatever topic. you want. We all decided that. Let's talk about what you want to talk about. That up. Okay. Um, there was something else I had in my other docket. So with marijuana now being legalized in many different parts. You're not telling me um, you want to start smoking, are you? Relax. Okay. Man, relax. Let's okay, go ahead. To a point. In the career. Relax, I'm getting to a point. With marijuana now being legalized in many different places, you have some criminal cases of people who are still in jail for selling marijuana prior. Do you think they should still be in jail or should they be released? That's why marijuana's not a drug. But marijuana is Hello. a drug. Especially the marijuana that's out here now. When it's not marijuana. It's not. It's not. What is? It's junk. It's junk. Because... Okay, but that listen, it, but whatever you are, no, whatever they're out plant. here they're smoking, smoking now, that's not, that's, that's, the, that's right. the problem. That's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so when yeah. people say they're legalizing it, it should be where <clears throat> it's not what's out here now. It should right. be back no, it's to act, It's actual marijuana that you can be prescribed mm-hmm. at, um, say, a doctor's office. That's right. the kind of marijuana that's being legalized. What they're smoking was making it's them not, go crazy. Right. That's not marijuana. It's laced marijuana with mm-hmm. other things in it. Well, whatever that's, that's it what is. I'm to. So what was your question? Should the ones people that who have who have been arrested, primarily African Americans, who've been arrested for having cases of marijuana, whether how many amount of grams they had on them, should they be released with them now legalizing marijuana in so many different places, or do you think they should not be released? 
Well, it depends. Well, no, I think. I think they should be released. Only why? Because marijuana, like you say, depends on how much it was. Um, it was it used to be a misdemeanor. Um, so if it was something where they had, it became a felony. Yeah, let them go now, especially if they've been doing good in jail. Like I will, as an ex police officer, that you know I can say a lot of things now that I'm not, you know, part of it. But a lot of marijuana cases that I had, and me and my partner, or if, you know. If I pull up on you, you got marijuana, you talking, hey, you know, you very respectful to me, especially if it's on my uh, Friday, what we would call the next two days on my days off. Don't let me see you do it again. Go. You know what I'm saying? So I wasn't one of them petty ones. Um, but, yeah, I think they should get out. I think they, hell, they letting some of the murders out now. And so, yeah, I think those cases should be dropped. But do I agree with marijuana being legal? No. Why? Have you ever like really seen someone do crazy things off of marijuana? Just pure marijuana? Mm -hmm. I think I, I have. And let me tell you why. I had family members that wasn't drinkers back in the 80s and 90s. They weren't drinkers, but they would just smoke marijuana. And then because that need for the high, the need to get high, <laughs> it escalated into other things for whatever reason. So to me, I don't. I don't. I don't want to be around nobody. But that was their preference to go to another level of high. I think that, that marijuana no longer did it for them. But go ahead. Yeah, I mean, I personally don't think marijuana harms anything or anyone. Now, if you go to another level of a different type of drug, then, yeah, that's on you. That's on, on what you do. So why do we see so many people... Um, doing crazy things that's high off marijuana because they're not smoking marijuana. Then it, but who's to say when you go and buy it or have people get it that you'll have pure that's marijuana, the you take. right? And so that's and that's why when they do crazy things, I think they should be locked up for it because that's a I chance totally that you agree. took when yeah, you put it absolutely. to your. I you totally can't, agree. But you can't base that off of oh that's marijuana. That person's high or sit in the car because they're on marijuana. I just don't, I, I'm not for, it's already legal. Something it only became legal because more of the Caucasians started coming out in reference to it. That's why they legalized it, it so. because Absolutely. blacks were making more money from it. So now why? You okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay. But short me there, personally, bro. you are short. Damn it. You're, you're short. You're <laughs> short. You're a short man. But um, I don't you think it's... I don't think it yeah, should be legalized. I don't want to be around it. Um, I had somebody get offended because they came to church and it was like, hey, and I said, mm, and I didn't hug them. I think if marijuana shouldn't smell the way, I shouldn't smell marijuana through your car with your windows up. That's not marijuana. Well, whatever it is, it's, they shouldn't be smoking it. Okay. Go ahead. No, What's your opinion? Um, I think... If you selling marijuana by large amounts and you get caught, yes, you should go no. to jail. Yeah, but he was saying those that's already in jail, should they come out? Yeah, I agree. Should they come out? Because it's legalized now, but it, what, why? It depends on the situation when you got caught with. See, a scenario where you wouldn't release them. Like if you got pulled over. Like, and like say, if. If you got caught dealing pounds, no, you shouldn't come out. I see what he's saying. But if you got so caught you like with, a drug lord with it, right? huh? yeah. you like a drug lord. But you shouldn't still be in yeah. jail, Mike. If it was a misdemeanor, so they had to have been dealing pounds if they're still in jail. But it's either right or wrong, right? Yeah, but no. What I'm saying is, if they marijuana used to be a misdemeanor. So they had to have been dealing pounds if they're still locked up to this well, day. Well, no, not necessarily. Okay. Well, yeah, it depends. I just don't think it should be legalized, but it is. It I don't want to be around so nobody that smokes. I don't want to smell the stuff. So I don't want. You, I don't think people that have certain jobs should be able to smoke before they go to work or doing work or whatever. Go ahead. So do you think marijuana is worse than liquor? I think all of it's bad. I don't drink, so I think all of it's bad, but I think it has its effect. Are you trying to say liquor? Yeah, yeah she's trying to make it. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what that is. It all depends on how much 
you consume of it. I think all drunk drivers Both. that cause an accident, whether somebody died or not, should do big time. I think I think people that get high and commit crimes, whether it's marijuana. This is what I'm saying. I'm saying. Go ahead. Me personally, I don't feel like marijuana harms anyone. Second, liquor harms does way more to a person's body and their brain and does way more damage. But that's, listen, listen I'm listening. I'm saying. I'm saying, so if someone was out here selling liquor, which causes way more harm than marijuana, and someone overdoses on um, legal drinks or whatever, is, do you see what I'm, what I'm going at? No, because that's no. like saying if I steal from Macy's or if I steal. No, I'm saying the different effects. Can I, can I answer Jack? Go ahead. Answer Jack. Answer so, Jack. Here, here's his thing. Can you what? Answer Jack. <laughs> Go ahead. Answer Jack. We actually interrupt you. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's right. <laughs> yeah, interrupt. Um, consuming too much of anything does start to cause problems. Yeah. So okay. when you start to couldn't, I know there's people there who will smoke literally every day. As soon as they wake up, they have to five to six, seven times a day. Mm -hmm. They'll do that. But you have things like cigarettes, which are perfectly legal and do much more damage to the body than wheat. You, you're right. But my, my point is that, like, I don't want to be around somebody that smokes cigarettes. Yesterday, a guy was behind us. He kept lighting up. I kept moving. I mm -hmm. actually watched him light up about five times in, what, like a 10-minute thing. And I'm like, five, six, and did he? We was at an outdoor concert. And I'm wild. like, this. Yeah. So I don't want to be around any of them. Chain smoker. Yeah, he was like standing up there just smoking. But the same token, I look at people that I see smoke weed and they look so dried out. They overconsume. Yeah, they do so. Everything in moderation. Because there are weed smokers that look like me. You are you a weed smoker? No, I don't want to know that. <laughs> One of my other coaches. Who's who your coach? Look up the part. Your coach? BB coach. One of them. You would have yeah, never one, known, would it? One, no, one of them look like he smoked weed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we ain't calling no name. One of them look like I think we people that smoke weed every day or a lot, they have a certain look to themselves. Just like I can tell a wine. Yes, it is. I can tell the person that drink all the time, or especially wine, they start getting that wine look around their mouth. We, yeah, we. I can't. Yeah, 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 you, talk, you talking about someone that consumes too much of it? Too much yeah, with too much of anything. That's like we're gonna tell somebody to consume too much food. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> not necessarily. I consume a lot of food. Eventually. Yes, you do. <laughs> And two minutes later, you get rid of it. Yes, like what you just did in this bathroom. That's great. I, I just think I'm not for weed, but that's just me. I'm not for shacking, you know. I'm not judging, but so it's a lot of things. No, I'm just saying it's a lot of things that I'm not for. Because I don't think. It's just not me. I, but you know, I'm saying it's just, it's just me. I'm not, and I love all my. Heterosexual, I mean, um, homosexual, um, homosexual friends and stuff, but I'm not for gay marriage. So it's a lot that I'm not. Yeah, maybe I'm just. <laughs> yeah, I'm not for it. That's your opinion. Yeah, but see. But me thinking of like. Humans, I feel like everyone should be with who they want to be. Yeah, with. and I, I agree. That's, That's why I said I don't judge, but I'm not for it. I accept it, and I'm cool with them. But animals what? Animals. I said except for animals. Animals can't be with who they want to be with. No, I'm saying like I'm being stupid. I'm saying human being with the animals. animals. Bestiality. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no, people do that over in Korean, yeah. Korean, well, well, different they places. Do that in America. Yeah. But um, <laughs> getting back, and, 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 getting back well, to marijuana, to each his own. You know, they told me I had glaucoma in my eye, right? So somebody said, smoke some weed. Well, I don't want to smoke no damn going weed. I don't smoke. I have a question. So if the doctor prescribed you some marijuana, would you take it? If he said this for a hundred percent and. I'm getting it straight from him and that. Yes, would you take yeah, it? We're not going or, to or, 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 I have to, um, what's the actress name? I problem. Um, I don't, I don't. That's from here. So you don't so want, you don't want to get, you don't want to get medicine? Mother, you don't want to be healthy? Takes, of course I want my eye healthy, but I don't know if I, her mother takes marijuana. Her okay. older mother. Okay. She wrote it up for her or she consume it and like that. I don't want to be sitting up there. No, but listen to what I'm saying. Okay, though. go ahead. If your doctor said, Miss Cradle, I'm going to prescribe you. Some st 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 st
That's what it's called? That's one of the names. Oh, you so educated you on that. Go ahead. <laughs> Hold up, you still up on the out plane. Kaz is not giving you that is. I got you. Go doing? ahead. Hold up, cause you ain't been playing your copay. We're gonna this talk about thing. that one fifty two. No, you still old. But go ahead. Okay. We get would the bill. Take, can I? <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. Would you take it? I think you would. Why? No choice. You want to get it? I, I don't. I, is that my only choice? That's your only choice. Well, right now they're giving me eye first. drops. I think my eye drops is doing pretty I, I'm good. Talking about, I'm not talking about the eye drops. I don't want to. I don't want to smoke weed. You don't have to smoke it. You can eat it. You can put it in oil. Look at you. You can. I don't know. We'll see. You but heard, let, prayfully, let's weed. prayfully let's information out there. Yeah. Let, hopefully yeah. that the eye drops are doing its job. Well, the eye drops have weed in it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you I don't, don't know. want you to be thinking so negative of what you saw other people. I said at church. I said that. But you have to look at yeah. other people that. But that, how do you know? Okay, so let me tell you. How do people know that? Yeah. How do people know that what they're smoking is real weed? If you're not getting it from a doctor. They don't. The difference in how you act. No, but by the time you put it in your system, like the guy that said the Change demon to told him to do when he killed that lady. Or if you grow it yourself, then that way you know. He was on some. He does not make you. But my point out. is, he got it from the streets. So, how do you know until you smoke it that it's real weed? Well, real weed smokers, one, they'll tell you that you can smell the difference. Yeah, it. And two, if you plant it yourself. It's coming from the ground. I'm sorry, we made you miss dinner. <laughs> those are my chips. chips. No, these are mine. No. I had a bag of chips. He, those were his I had a bag of chips. Let's not argue oh. about chips, but go ahead. Because since I paid for them, oh, with my I money. Did. Okay. Uh. <laughs> I'm saying is, don't. I don't. I mean, you already have your opinion. So what? Right. You can't. I'm not gonna go against. You. Yeah, I don't. I, I just don't like the smell. Of it. I don't want to hug I, nobody. It's, it, it's a very strong smell. Yeah, is. and, and it is. I think that somebody need to come out with some type of spray. It, it is. It's a what spray. it's called? Bug spray. You get it from the gas station. You spray it and it so. Do you think people should be able to smoke it because they legalize it? Do you think on your break, like people go out and smoke cigarettes, they should be able like? Yeah. So. Like ten minutes are almost do. up. People do. But should should People it be smoke before they go to work? But should okay, so should they be able to do it and still go in there like a doctor? It or it depends on that person. Or bus driver. Person. So you it think a bus driver? It depends on the people that can actually drive high. No, it you know, it's not like a drunk it. person that until they have an accident say I drive. My cousin used to say that you did. Say she drive better when she drunk. I'm alright. I know. Yeah, but no, I don't think that when you're on your job, you should not be allowed even to smoke cigarettes because, again, that smell. Well, I would say if you're allowed to smoke cigarettes, you should be allowed to smoke weed. I don't even think you should now, be able Do I? Cigarettes? Uh, I personally am against it. But, again, that's people have the right to do as they please. And so right, if you're on your right. break, if you be able no, to smoke... No, not on your break. You don't have the right to do because you're still on their time you're coming back on their time yeah. so, there are so on my break, breaks. okay so let, uh, yeah but i'm saying on, <laughs> on my break you saying they should have the right to do whatever they want on their if you break can, if you can smoke cigarettes on your break you should be able to smoke weed, weed so should break. i okay so no. what about hold up what about cigarettes if the doctor, and weed um going have the same effect so what about Again, the doctor gave me zantac okay zantac what ain't that zantac or what's that Zanax? thing that yeah whatever it is what's the thing the doctor gave you when you perks. woke up you took perks. one perks. okay what is it perks okay so should they be able to take that it's different perks will literally make you sleepy yeah I'm not, yeah I'm not perks wrong. literally make you feel like you're out they're of made what's it and we don't no, it depends Especially on the weed they have out We had this conversation all day Again, long. Again, every day in moderation. I, I got high on Oh, yeah. We're going to take a break because we'll never get ready. <laughs> we'll never bring it to sleep. Well, like, you got work at me. What are you scared, man? Thank you.
Demi, Mama, what I do, what I do, 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 <laughs> what you mean? Shop a little hurt. From who? Who's been talking? Oh, I can't. How many people? So that's a yes? I can take no, it. No, it's like my You're doing too much. You're doing too loud. Right, for real. Mom, come get your daughter. Ooh. Go ahead to the only Don't touch me. Take this. Take my cup. Let me take it. No. Why? I was going to pay you later. Yeah. Everybody come out. I can pay you later. No, you can't. Why? Why you got a t-shirt? I'm hot. I can't do something. You, I'm going to tell you what you can't do with my like, stuff. I can't. Excuse me for a minute. No, no, no. No, no. Why, why? I asked her, can I take the cup? And That's not her later. No. Like, why not? What you mean no. by that? Hey, I don't know. Where's that bitch trying to? What's the difference? Don't it's she pay you? It's time to give it to you. Right. Girl, you're the last one that should be talking. Look, what are you talking about? But well, she's going to pay you. Right. Did she pay you yet? Yes, I paid you half. half. half but well, I still exactly. pay you. Okay, you do it. I do it. No, no, no. Go to the dollar store and ask them, can you pay them next week? But you're not the dollar store. No, no, no. Go, go to the Chinese people when you get your hair done. Who I'm on, are you I'm on both of y'all's side, but I just. <laughs> come on, Nana, you ready? Uh, the change is what? Yeah, change to something else. Oh, all right. Put your cup back. Put it back. No, me. So, as we were saying, okay, go ahead, you good. Okay, as we were saying, we're gonna skip because we're not gonna agree on this weed, <laughs> alcohol, drugs, or anything. Uh -oh. You know. Agree to disagree. Yeah, just don't. Who don't think it's the same? Is it? it? We agree to disagree. Okay. I think that's in your mind, people. <laughs> you know how? It is. So, what you want to talk about today? Maybe as our guest. Maybe ask you two questions. Okay. <laughs> so deep. No, no, no. Go ahead. Um, you got set up first. <laughs> <laughs> tight show. Yeah. Stand up. Oh, you are standing. Uh, um, what are y'all intake on our parenting towards y'all? Ooh. <laughs> I don't think she wants to go on that topic. No, if you do, just make sure you have a vibe, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you ain't had to put that out there, first of all. Um... Yeah. No, I'm definitely I'm gonna be 100% respectful for y'all, my parents, and I'm also gonna be 100% honest because I feel like in I feel like growing up, Ma, you were very not strict. No, I didn't say strict. You were very over caring. Hey, how could somebody be over caring? Um. So. <laughs> Can you be over caring? How about like, over protective? Yeah. That's okay. what you meant? I mean, it's, it's that's, that's, that's like the same thing, right? No. no. Okay. Over I'm sorry. That's somebody over, care for you a lot. I, I think everybody wants to. Over <laughs> you didn't really let us do as much. Or you would, like, trip out over, like, the small things. Like, even, huh? even I ain't talking. Even when I, like, try to, like, explain to you, like, this is my go-to person. To that's good. We're you. talking about when like, you was growing up, though. When you talking about saying, teenager that was, now. That was my go-to person, even growing up. Like, I... I was protective. Go ahead, Mooch. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, I think first off, um, you two have done a great job parenting. Hallelujah. So go ahead. <laughs> I do I do believe you two have done a great job parenting um me and all both my sisters. Um, especially in comparison to a lot of other parents, how they don't put a lot of care into how they raise their children. You see how their children turn out. You look at how all three of us turn out. Um, did pretty good. We're all very respectful, very um, considerate, smart people. Um, in terms of what you said, Nay, um, Ma, I do believe at times you can be very over protective. protective. 
And I understand why because you've been in police force, you've seen so much. So I'm not. It's not like you. That's why you do it, and I feel like she's doing it for no reason. No, I understand why, but That's I also why. understand that. I think that with the way the world is set up today, something bad is going to happen. Something bad is going to happen. No. I, 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 let me finish. Okay, go ahead. If something bad is going to happen. Whatever's going to happen, Good. that's going to happen. I, I believe that when you go out into the world and take a risk every day, no matter no matter, no matter what you do. And I'm not saying let me go out and say, hey, let me go hang out in the rough parts of Washington, D.C. or Baltimore or something like that. Damn. PG County got rough parts too, but go well, ahead. Yeah, PG, PG, whatever. <laughs> but I'm sorry, sorry, DC, sorry. Um, but I, I think that there, there could have been times where you let me like hang with my friends or something like that. And I get could have been some bad areas. It was like, no, that area is a bad area. No, don't go. But I just think sometimes you have to, especially with even me more so growing up, you have to take off the, the hand. I, I, think, a little bit. I feel like you didn't have a lot of trust in us. To, no, it to wasn't me. the trust in y'all. It was the trust in the people that y'all were hanging with. Right. As, pro, we, as No, no, no. Yes, you know. were. Because, nay, nay. <laughs> I had just put a perm in my hair. I didn't even finish my point. I had to leave from boy to <laughs> I, six, I, I, two I, I, didn't, I didn't finish my point. But, she was a oh, no. I, I had to leave I'm from being boy. <laughs> no, no, let's get on her. Oh, I, I had no, just. I brought, wasn't finished. Hold up, let me hold up. Let me hold up. Let me hold up. Let me hold up. I had just parked my hat. He was watching wrestling. I, I was watching Shark Tank. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. So go ahead. you, you, you hold up. Meditate on that. From Boy to Wheaton. Go ahead. I had just parked my hat. My hat fit. I couldn't even. Go ahead. I also do think that of you two, the easiest to talk to is Dad. Yeah, simply yeah. because of his laid back personality. Yeah. yeah. Um. Somebody gotta be aggressive. <laughs> Yeah, I do think it's more good cop, bad cop, more than anything. Um, but everything y'all tell him, just know. I don't know if he tell me everything, I don't. but he'll ask my opinion. No. Or he'll say, I don't. call, no. talk to Moochie, call Nene. It's stuff that they have both told me that I've never told you. That's good, because I probably would be you. mad. Right. Yeah. right. Go ahead. That's no, I never told bad. you. You probably wouldn't be able to handle it. I can't, because. You won't be understanding. All right, go ahead. Finish. As long as I know. It's not going to harm them. Okay. That's I'm all good with it. I, I am very protect, overprotective. It probably was because of the police department I've seen. If, you've seen. if you knew the things that I've seen that I still have in my head, and I know police officers out there, some things you just can't tell. You just so I try to put y'all in, mm -hmm. you know, to keep y'all protected, especially you. I left my job because I didn't want you to go to daycare. I didn't want you around family members I that. because of the fact that I've seen the influence that certain family members had on the girls. So I didn't. I wasn't and having. Look how you turned out. Yeah. Understood. Yeah, Understood. because I'm like I'm not letting my son be be around. Y'all turned good, but I've never, thank you Jesus, had any problems with you. You never. We had one problem. Well, I didn't <laughs> have that problem, but you did. But I've never even beat you. I never really beat you. I hit you, you but I didn't about? beat you, you did. in church. You nearly. You, you punched me in my I face punched you in your face because you had braces. braces. You kept talking. That's not. Big. That's not I've about? never That's beat you. I, no, I. I you a damn child abuse. Hit somebody in the face? We, hell no. We you raise a kid? Ain't no dog on child abuse. Hit somebody abuse. in the face? You are their property. <laughs> People are not property. Y'all are property. property. <laughs> You're not, the people are, people Until are you move out of my house. But no, let's go back to you. So that's why <laughs> well, I did it for you. Because I wanted, you, say, say, say I wanted you to be raised different. So I didn't want you to turn out the statistics that most young black men. And I knew that there was an anointing on you. And so every time somebody see you from young to now, what do they say? You have a what on you? And they don't even have to know you. They don't even have to know you. There's something special. So I I realized that at a very young age. So I left my job making good money. Wasn't doing much work, but making good money. But so, yeah. But you know, so no, they had put me back on the street. But I also so, think. But I am overprotective of you because I think I've sheltered you to the point where you don't have street knowledge. You don't. You have no street knowledge at all. None. None. And I'm like, and you're not. So yeah. So you are this shout out to all you all out you there. Think? You need to, you know, I guess be careful of who you have your kids around. We're gonna talk about that incident when we come back. <laughs> Yeah, yeah.
first, but the fam go after. They feel it over love and laughter. Sunday morning, listening to the pastor. Mama gave look like you better not act up. When the fam's not through, better back up. They want real one, that's what. What we see when you come around here? One God, one fam, no fear. When you come to fam, you don't get to choose. God in the middle, so I cannot lose. Blood is blood, so you just make do. Can't nobody ever touch me in the crew. Body over here, man, we can have the juice. Family don't die, owe me, oh my. Sometimes sick of them, glad they owe my. Brag on the cradle, the boys are home. Brag that I'm not where I'm going, where it's at. Round these parts, don't nobody walk alone. All play a part, ain't nobody on the own. Family is there, gotta put down the shop. Okay, insight in the first family of style. We're not even going to get to the style right now. This because we're going to get into have more conversations with these two. That's telling me how I was overprotective as they were growing up. So for that incident, mm -hmm. I didn't get caught. Cool. She got caught. Cool. Okay, so let's talk about the incident. I trusted you because you said I was overprotective, but I trusted you to go to, to hang out, gave you some money. Mm -hmm. To hang out with a friend of yours. You were not old at the time. 14. You had money. I was like, was I not? No, <laughs> I was older than 14. 15? I was in, was I in 10th grade? Yeah, so I was, was in 15, 15 and 16. Like so you knew right from wrong. So you were between 15 and 16. We're going to say it like that. And Trust you knew you, right from wrong. I, did I drop y'all off at the subway? No, and you had was, money. I think she you did. Young. I think I dropped y'all off at the subway. Trusted you. I get a call, just part of my hair, and I told you when you get back over there, call me so I can come pick you up, because I never wanted y'all to ride, you know, by at night or nothing like that. And I get a call from who? The, the mall cop. The mall cop. <laughs> Which mall cop? Again, I'm part of my hair, shock tank, he watching wrestling. Mike at work. Was it a Friday? It was a Friday. So you had made, made me miss So that? I had to leave from, <laughs> I had to take my hair out, hurry up and take the perm out, because they tell me that they had my daughter locked well, you up. you had a perm in your I, Yeah, just perm my hair. Mm -hmm. about to, yeah, I had perm in my hair. So they tell me you locked up for stealing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> for stealing. Say it like that. No, so I, I'm oh, you standing laughing? up there. I'm, yeah, don't you just laugh at it. You laughing? 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 He cried because he, he got to watch. He got to come in there. You know, he got to stop watching last night. I'm Not standing down. up there. Probably Batista so tell me what happened when, you, when I walked in. You tell me what happened. So, Edge, so first of all, I'm, I'm in the back room uh, with, like, handcuffs behind my back. And I hear, like, heels clacking. Where's she at? Where's she at? Uh-uh. Where's she at? And all the time you knew the person. Yeah. You know how embarrassing when you go inside the, somewhere? And your daughter locked up, and the person, hey, Twanda, how you doing? It's not the time to say hi. I'm like, where is that motherfucker? Where? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck would you be out here? I'm cussing. I'm going over there. I ain't lying. I'm going off. You had a pocket full of money. Why would I you? I ain't had that much money. You had. Was, you listen, knew right from wrong. Yeah. You didn't have You had enough to cover what you stole. And that's stole. why I was overprotective. See? I let my guards down that time, and you want to be out here still. And then and you know what she tell takes. me? Y'all know what she told me? She said one time to lose our trust. I didn't get caught. She got caught. Because she did. <laughs> like, I didn't get caught. Because so why were you there? What? Because they if you see, didn't get because caught, they see me with her. They see us walking, but they saw her stealing off the camera. But because they saw us walking out the door together, what? they came out. Listen, we could have ran. I could have ran across the street to the Did you have anything station. on you but, but that no, you didn't listen, pay for? That's yes. what I mean about the okay, influences that people have on somebody. You you were technically, oh, sorry, you were technically a good girl. But you let that person that one time influence you. Okay, Mike, we're going to do this thing the right way. <laughs> I ain't turning it up. You let that person that one I time influence you, you to steal. I did. And that's what I mean about why I was overprotective. Now, I let my guard down with her because I thought she was a good but girl. She was. She was a straight A student. She was very smart. I met yeah. her in seventh grade. And a thief. <laughs> yeah, she was. Yeah, but it's no, 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 no. That's stealing, I always used to tell y'all. That's stealing, lying, no. That ain't, that never flied with me. Like, I didn't like that. So that's why I was mad at you. And that's mm -hmm. why I probably became even more overprotective. But Especially we clashed because why would you be out there stealing? Then I knew the person. Be careful who you let your that. kids hang around. That's what I mean about influencers. So that's why I'm more protective with you because you're a guy. Like, you you would have got it real bad. They probably would have jacked you up and, and did everything. Days. 
Your two sisters was... made it very, very bad for you. Yeah, that's why I'm protected. Very bad. But I wasn't that kind well, of this made kid for me, anyways. So. Huh? I wasn't that kind of... You wasn't that type of guy, yeah, but I understand the big one, the little one gonna do with the big one and it falls down. That way yeah, but so and I understand that, but my point is, my kids were raised to know right from wrong. You know what I'm saying? So when y'all let somebody influence y'all, and I'm not saying I was perfect growing up. I know a lot of times she'd be like, Ma, you act like you were so perfect, like you ain't never done anything. No, I did dirt. I ain't never steal. I tell you that now. But that's the part of being a per a good per, you're gonna protect your child. You're gonna tell them right from wrong. You're gonna be there for them. You know? So again, I thank you all for joining in. Two minutes. And I'm just letting them know. I mm. thank them. Don't judge us. Goodness, go on and let you have the last word. I don't steal no more. I've been delivered. <laughs> 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 Just that from weed. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's <laughs> true that. It's just that <clears throat> times now are different from what it was back then when we was doing our dirt. Very true. See, we can get away with a whole lot of stuff I ain't never still back then that y'all can't get away with now. But that don't mean it made it right. Just Laws have forward. changed. Yeah, Police have changed. Yeah, Mike, and just because you got away with don't make it right, but I was not I never, never said it was right. I didn't never steal though. I never said it was right, but anyway, thank you for tuning in <laughs> to the first family of style. This is our first episode. Hopefully you see us again next week. Hopefully. You will, Lord willing. Hopefully you, you all come back. That's what yeah, you say. That's what I'm saying. All right, last words. Um, follow me on social media. I am Project MC. Who have a birthday coming up? For sure. Oh, Virgo yes. Games. That's Sunday, right. And you Virgo got to go down next Saturday. Oh. Show September, club, club. September 14th, Joe's Movement Emporium, 7 to 9 p.m. Tickets are in my bio. It is the album concert, Rare Energy album, all over. Spotify, Tidal, iTunes, all that. Come out and see the album. I, I said it. You can follow me on <laughs> Instagram and Twitter, everywhere else at I am Project MC. Go get the album. Go get your tickets. It's gonna be a fun thing, fun little team. Family thing. So Always excited. Support. So excited. When you see one, you usually see all. Cause we yeah. are the family. First, first family, family of style. style. She don't even know the who DMV we are. The DMV first family of style. DMV first family of style. Here. Same thing. <laughs> Thank y'all. Peace. Love y'all.